Hi everyone, this is Andy, your course facilitator. Today's uh, section or this step is step five and it is about embrace video learning. So the resources here are ways to get some already created uh, videos that you can use uh, with your classrooms. I think most of us would realize or at least uh, hopefully agree that uh, the use of video, particularly YouTube, has been uh, certainly has some obstacles, but also offers great promise uh, for learning. So the probably one of the true advantages is that students can kind of watch on their own time and they can pause and start and stop and watch multiple times if possible, which can help with the learning process. So these tools really have that as their spirit. So this first uh, kind of link is just about uh, online viewing and what's going on there. And then this uh, is from Common Sense Media, which has best interactive video apps for students. Uh, Edpuzzle can also be, you could create videos here for teachers, but it's really about putting together uh, great, um, you know, putting, bringing YouTube videos in, embedding questions in it, and um, asking questions right within a video and getting the results instantaneously after the students have watched the video. A really powerful tool. Play Posit is very similar to that. Uh, again, you can bring in YouTube videos, embed questions in it, and then find the results from your students. So two uh, similar and really uh, solid tools. They both have freemium and premium uh, platforms. Edpuzzle, I think, Probably the freemium version offers you more um, to use. And then uh, again, PlayPosit also has a freemium version uh, and a premium version. Uh, ClassHook is a great place to find. I'll just uh, bounce out to that. So if you're a person and say you want to, if you're a teacher and you want to find some information, uh, maybe you're doing um, a, a lesson on photosynthesis. If you just do a search for photosynthesis, it will find um, it'll find you videos that have to do with uh, photosynthesis from uh, like popular movies and TV shows. So it may you know show you something from uh, you know the movie ET for just an example, and then uh, you can link standards within uh, those clips from YouTube. So it kind of takes uh, the best of movies and uh, um, that are already created and uh, kind of links them to standards. So again, there's the freemium version. Uh, it's pretty reasonable and you can use it for your classes. TED Talks, I'm sure many of you are familiar, but there is also what is known as TED Ed. And TED Ed uh, has a variety of great videos, but they've kind of bumped it up where they've created videos that um, teachers have, have narrated and put together, and then you can get content. So if you just click, for example, the Discover uh, area, you can just click on Lessons. You're going to see a real treasure trove of some quality lessons that will allow you to uh, also get students uh, interacting so they can write uh, comments and you can link it to your own uh, site. So, and these are very well done. Uh, they're very well organized and uh, I think uh, teachers will find a real treasure of, of great uh, information there. Khan Academy has been around for quite some time now and has developed a true following. It's a great way to bring in videos uh, that can uh, be embedded. Um, Flipgrid, if you're not familiar with that, this allows not only just teachers to create video, but then students can create videos back and have kind of an instruction. And uh, for math teachers, this was recommended to me. It's called eMath Instruction, uh, and it's just a way to uh, bring in math uh, videos for your students. So again, the idea behind this step is that uh, there's already videos out there created Let's harness those in a powerful educational way, and you can use these varieties of platforms to help you do that. So I hope that makes some sense, and I would definitely check out uh, this Common Sense video. I would look at Edpuzzle and see what it has to offer, as well as ClassHook and EdTed, uh, just as like my top recommendations. So check those out, and I hope you like this step.